Hi there, it's Day from DayWilliams.com and Day Williams Healthy Beauty Facebook page. And I want to um, offer up some education about rancid oils. And you know, I'm a been a product formulator, a natural product formulator for probably at least 30 years. I, I, I have to keep adding. I've been saying 20 years for so long. When I count it up, it's more like 30 years now. So anyhow, um, the line that I was the original creatrix of and still am one of the owners is called Sensuous Beauty. And there's about 100 products and they're all available on my website. Check them out. And in the process of becoming a um, you know, very skilled formulator and a navigator of natural ingredients and things, one of my, the uh, most important things to me is you know, I have to smell everything before it goes into the pot and have for years. And that includes things that I'm cooking. And uh, the smell of rancid oil is just this really distinct smell. However, what I'm aware of is often when I'm in stores, natural food stores and things, I'm always checking out all the testers of any of the, the products that are there. I love knowing what's available. And, um, and also in people's you know, bathrooms and closets and things like that and makeup bags and whatnot. I'm regularly um, in the style and consulting personal style work I do. I'm regularly going through people's stash of makeup and whatnot. And I do a lot of private consultations on skincare and things. So again, I'm going through any skincare products they have. And I'm always just astounded. That might sound like an exaggeration, but as I say, it's true at, at how many rancid products there are in all of those arenas. And so um, what I'm aware of is that a lot of people don't know how to recognize something when it's gone rancid. And so I want to offer up um, some navigational uh, things that, uh, words, adjectives or things that can help you. So when you smell something, first of all, if there's any um, oil to the product um, or if it's just straight up olive oil in your kitchen, you know, when you smell rancid oil, it smells like Crayola crayons or plastic or the inside of a VW bug. <laughs> if you have one or ride in one of those regularly, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's this stink, this distinct, <laughs> kind of stink too, but distinct Crayola crayon smell. And, um, you know, sometimes you can't smell it necessarily right in the package, but, um, if you take a little and you know rub it on your uh, hand and you smell it when it warms up often it'll come out too so if ever the smell will come out stronger so if ever you're wanting to sort through something and particularly um, you know lipsticks are one of the things that I most often and especially I'm sad to say natural lipsticks there's some um, effect that happens when those you know mineral and natural pigments are mixed with oils they definitely regularly create a, a quicker rancidity. And I think that perhaps in the, the natural um, cosmetic department, the turnover isn't as high on um, those products. So I keep all my natural lipsticks and things in the refrigerator. I don't know how that would work for others. But anyway, um, rancid oils are one of the worst things, um, most detrimental to your health and beauty that you can have on you or in you. And so I'm encouraging you to really like just you know, check it out, practice that, you know, experiment, go through your door and see if you can see what I'm talking about. And if you have questions, please comment back and I'd be more than happy to answer them. I feel like this is an important um, way to learn about taking care of yourself. Okay, lots of love. Bye now.